Hi dear viewers, this is Arash Kamali with another session of the website programming course on the Python programming language and the Django framework. Again, as always, a very warm and sincere welcome from me. If you remember well, in the previous session we showed the permissions list of the users and then we activated the delete button so that we can get the permissions remove the permissions for the user. In this session, we are going to add permissions for the user. At first, we need to show the list of the permissions so that the admin will see them and choose from them. Okay, so let's get to work here in the view, here user permission. Okay, what do we do? Here I say perms equals permission dot objects dot all all right and i send params to the template params to the template okay that's it now in the template i move user perms and here i need to say in perms okay i refresh the page and at first my permissions are set here i make some more permissions such as test two okay and test three and then here in the user admin permissions and now I have permissions test 2 and test uh, 3. Okay, uh, which I can designate to the user. In order to do that, I need to make the associated function with it. So how do I make that function? Let's see, I copy this. And then say user perms and instead of del i say add and then i no longer need the name i receive the pk okay i just need a pk and so i make the url and it would be be what it would be user perms add with the name user perms add all right i need to set it in the template it needs to go to users perms add with a sense pk and here instead of g name i call it p okay permission all right uh, here the first thing i need to do is i write if request dot method equals post i move this one a step forward if our method equals post p name equals request dot post dot get p name all right is received and now uh, here we need to receive the user again we receive the user based on the pk that we get and then we set it in the user and then we need to deal with the permissions for the permission we need to say dot object dot get where the name equals here we need to say p name uh, the p name we received here and then we need to say user dot user permission dot and uh, instead of remove we say add okay and then it would be redirected to the function for showing it and let's test and see if it works all right now i choose test yeah 
it has been added to the user and I choose test 2 now if I check the demo two permissions have been added to it test 1 and test 2 now I add the test again as you see there is no error you have seen the same thing before when we added repetitive names for the groups or permissions we would have no error and I can add and uh, consequently remove permissions to the users that's for adding permissions to the users that is done now now we can give permissions to the user or remove them for him now we are going to add a permission to the group that is the group that we have made here we say the test group of ours will receive certain permissions okay certain permissions that are designated we are going to remove the permissions that we don't need we are going to work with adding and deleting the permissions and then we are going to check the user's permissions in the template and in the view.